A Fruitport High School senior has admitted to taking the picture of a black ninth grader and altering the photo to make it look like the student was hanged. The senior is now suspended and being investigated by police. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is looking into how the school is handling the case. The incident happened last week. Tonight we we're talking to the school not only about their response, but the challenges of handling the problems created by the downside of social networking. In this case, the decision by school officials to intervene was a matter of policy. Once a photo was posted on Instagram and word spread, it created disruptions in the hallways of Fruitport High. The picture taker and the victim got into a confrontation in the school. Had the picture been taken outside of the school and the aftermath never spilled into the hallways, the school may not have intervened, may not have even known about it. School officials haven't seen the doctored photo. The senior who took it and altered it claims she'd erased it from her phone and only sent it to a few people. She's been suspended pending the outcome of the investigations, one by the school, the other by Fruitport Township Police. The school district has also asked for the mediation and restorative justice service to get involved. Sometimes the plan is not to make the kids friends again. It's really to decide how can we both work our separate ways to not get into each other's business again, not to start issues, and certainly not to be a safety threat. We were tipped off to the story by an email from the mother of the ninth grader. She wasn't available to talk on camera today, but over the phone she told me she's concerned over the school's handling of the incident, including the request of the Mediation and Restorative Justice Service. She's concerned the involvement of a third party is an effort to sweep the issue under the rug. When we punish a student, we want them to grow from it, not just punish them. School officials say it's another option, along with the school and the police investigations, to resolve the matter. We are trying to make the situation right through the restorative process. Um, beyond that, uh, I'm not sure what else we can do. We also talked to Fruitport Police. They tell us the investigation is just getting underway. They hope to have more information later in the week. In Fruitport Township, Joe LaFergie, 24-Hour News 8.